Hey guys, welcome back to Loop Hub. Today we'll talk about super cringy YouTubers ranked. Let's head into it. Number 10, Total Biscuit. Sorry guys, but Total Biscuit isn't the guy all PC gamers should look up to. He is overcritical, arrogant, and uses the word overrated a lot, and often hates not only Minecraft, but its fan base and creators as well. It's okay to hate on Minecraft, but come on, what has Notch and Jeb ever done that was so bad, apart from the incident with the Yogg's cast and I'm sure Notch regrets. He puts his own opinion above all and condescends when people disagree. For example, someone in a calmly expressed tweet that she or he thought that PewDiePie was funny and TB replied stating that you basically admitted that you don't have a very good taste in humor. Which I'm hoping was sarcasm, but if not, it ruins TB's freedom of speech claim. It also proves that he hates anyone who merely likes PewDiePie, simply because of his arrogant ego. Go. Sure, maybe I'm just a bad hating like this, but still, at least I accept it when people disagree with me. Number 9, Jolithin Jolie. He sings nonsense all the time, he exploits his kids, he is a sociopath, he is money hungry and creates controversy to gain views, all that matters to him is money. He is a compulsive liar, he keeps his mouth open all the time, he is selfish, he claims people threaten him and then takes it back, he uses his minions to attack haters and journalists. He asks for foods and clothes from minions, he doesn't shower, he buys old used cars every two months to show how rich he is, and when in fact he isn't, he buys Twitter followers and subscribers, he thinks he has gained all of his subscribers due to his amazing personality, when in fact his kids are the ones that attract subscribers, he's a sneaky weasel and he is disrespectful and a pervert. Number 8, Onision. I'm so glad that people are saying all about this stuff about him, especially how he married and impregnated a child. Although she was 18 at the time of their wedding and is now 21, also, oh well if he says what he wants. If you really have such a big problem with what he has to say, then there's one simple solution. Stop being a moron and don't watch his videos. As for being mad at him for what he says about people who self-harm, starve themselves, are emo, seen, fat, etc. Unless you fall under one of these categories and are offended, then stop complaining. If you do fall under one of these categories, then you should stop worrying about what others think because you're going to have to deal with that people for the rest of your life. Number 7, I Justine. I tried her videos, but quite honestly, I hated them. She was annoying to me. They aren't funny, I know she tries to be good, but it just isn't working. She should try to be more like Jenna Marbles, who is amazingly hilarious, and Miley Cyrus, that good girl image away. Number 6, EvanTube HD. This little kid gets over 15 million views for reviewing Angry Birds, while millions of others around the world try to be YouTubers but are just not getting the progress. Just look at me, I've been grinding for almost one and a half years and I only have 100 subs and 2k views. Personally, I think that Bray Tele is the worst, but still, little kids on YouTube? Like, come on, they go out onto the street and around 10 people recognize them. Why do they care about them? They're not even entertaining, it's just life, we know how that is. See, this is why people like stage videos like Angry Grandpa and McJugger Nuggets. There's actually excitement. Sure, there might be bad acting in stage, but let's face it, we would all rather watch a 22-year-old kid scream like Squidward when his dad mows over his games, rather than an 8-year-old acts like he's all famous, he doesn't deserve it. Number 5, Matty B Raps. Not talented in the least. Why his mother pimped him out to YouTube instead of focusing on his grades at school is beyond me. His mom is looking for the highest bidder so she can use his money and hoping he became famous like Bieber. She doesn't realize that making him pretend to be a rapper and having him memorize lyrics is wasteful. He is full of himself and thinks that he will be the next white Eminem. Maybe he will get big, but I bet he will be a one-hit wonder and fall off the face of the earth because he was so cringy and corny. I hope he goes to college. Number 4, Justin Bieber Vivo. He is the worst singer ever. How do people even like him? The worst thing I hate about him is his official music videos that are so weird. One of his first song, Baby, had a really weird music video. And don't get me started with what do you mean. Number 3, The Annoying Orange. Luke, Luke, I am an orange. <laughs> For some reasons, I like Annoying Orange at first, since I first watched it back in 2011 or 2012 maybe. His face totally scared the heck out of my pants when I saw him as a kid, but now I am trying to observe him. I kinda laughed in his old videos, but not the new ones. The new ones were just lame, and you guess it, annoying. Even he I am curious about that Cartoon Network show of the game name except for the title The High Fructose Adventure. Yeah, if someone stole the website series to make a show like this, Dane Bo, the creator of this channel, have no clue right here and I'm guessing that he is ranting out of ideas. Number 2, PewDiePie. PewDiePie is all about swearing and screaming. After watching him for a couple of hours, he gets getting repetitive and boring. Also, rip headphone users, his fans are all a bunch of premature butthurt kids that just swear and rage at every bad comment about PewDiePie. Myself, after watching three years of him, I got bored and stopped watching because it's always the same thing. Constant screaming and swearing that are used in a funny way targeted for kids, which shouldn't be because people don't want their kids saying everything about they see. 
Number one, Fred. I never watched him growing up because he drove me crazy. This auto-tuned screaming almost made my ears bleed, and now he has a TV show and a couple of movie. This is why most movie TV show reality shows suck, and why most actors are fake, because people like him only have to do a three-minute video of him screaming, and they are practically ruling the world. Hey, it's Fred, and the nurses at school gave everyone a hair check, and I guess they found lice in my hair. Why would this beautiful hair have any lice in it? I want to see someone who had to fight and work their ass off to get famous, and want to be famous because it's their dream, not because they are offered the job or because they gained enough subs on a website to be deemed worthy and important. Honestly, people wake up. This jackass didn't do to get where he is, yet he is given the dream life. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so they don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I am sure you will love them. With that, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.